Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 29, Help Desk Overview. The Help Desk functionality exists in most of the out-of-the-box portals, including the Employee and Customer Self-Service portals, the Community portal, and the Partner portal. It is one of the most common reasons that an organization first considers a portal. The Help Desk functionality extends the traditional Dynamics 365 customer service experience to your portal, specifically around the case entity. The Help Desk can be found in the Support area of the portal. On the Support homepage, users have the ability to search portal content, including areas like discussion forums and the knowledge base. If authenticated, they can also see a list of cases related to their account, plus the ability to open a new case. When opening a new case, Users are able to set a title, case type, subject, description, as well as upload a file. If case deflection is enabled, the text entered into the title will be used to search the portal, and any relevant content will be displayed. The goal here is to encourage the user to leverage existing resources before creating a new support case. When viewing an existing case, users are able to add comments, update some of the attributes, view related activities, as well as close or cancel the case. One of the great things about the Help Desk functionality is that it has been primarily developed using the Dynamics 365 portals features like entity lists and entity forms, as opposed to custom website code. This means that a lot of the functionality is customizable, including which fields show up on the lists and forms. If you need a customized Help Desk experience, leveraging the out-of-the-box Help Desk is a great way to jumpstart your development. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 29 from Engineered Code on the Help Desk functionality useful.